Hi guys, my name is Meads. This is going to be a review for SH Figure Arts Garo. And uh, for those not familiar with uh, Garo, uh, basically it's kind of like your Kamen Rider uh, series. But uh, you have Demon Slayers and they transform into this, uh, this armored knight. Uh, which has kind of like a wolf face. Uh, hence the, you know, the armor, the name is Garo. And actually there's different tiers. And in particular, the basically the... The top one is the Golden Knight Garo, uh, which is the main protagonist uh, always wears. And on this version, uh, you have a Ryuga. Now, uh, there's actually different uh, arcs of uh, the series, and I think they might have had a, actually a timeline. I've been watching it since the third arc, and it's been great. Now, for this particular version, uh, it's the one who shines to the darkness, and actually they've continued on having or another season of that uh, called Battle Storm. And uh, it is a really great series. I, I really like it. So for this particular one, we have a Ryu uh, Ryuga Dogai. Or I think Dogai Ryuga. Or something. <laughs> I always get the Japanese mixed up. But yeah, we have Ryuga and uh, he does have the black armor. And uh, he's partnered up with Rian, which is a princess, uh, like a priestess, uh, basically. And basically on uh, this uh, world, you have a priest and the knight. Typically, only guys can be a knight. I'm not sure why there's a restriction to that. And you're, they partner up with their, either a guy priest or a, a female uh, priestess. And um, yeah, they uh, battle uh, demons, <laughs> among other things. All right, so here we go. Enough of that. Uh, background but just for those who are not too familiar uh, with this uh, series it, it's really great I like it so here's the box art it's quite nice and I believe this is limited since uh, we have this uh, shipper box here and interestingly enough they've been uh, doing a colored box inside because usually when it's a limited release you have a monocolored box but uh, the, the box inside is really nice I like that so there we go. Let's take a look inside. All right, so uh, we have Ryuga's Garo here. And one thing I really like about the Garo armor, it's very intricate. A lot of details, and it's just amazing. That's really cool. <laughs> and let's take a closer look here. So again, for the face, you kind of have that wolf-like um, features that they had. Actually, one of them is actually a, a crow or a crow base, but I think he still has that wolf armor. It's kind of weird, <laughs> but I like it. Even on the ears here, you get that crazy amount of details there, that molding. Quite nice. You get the metallic green for the eyes. You get this blue jewel here. Really cool. Then uh, you have this thing, kinda like a huge talisman on his waist. And look at the armor. Really, really cool. And I do like <laughs> armored uh, characters, so this is one of those that I gotta get. Although, if you've probably seen uh, Garu before also from another of Bandai's uh, figure series, which is the Makai Kaido. Now, that's kind of like your SIC. They're a bit bigger, probably about 7 inch. And there's a variety of them. And some of them are actually quite expensive. Um, since some are limited release or they have just have extra cr crazy amount of armor. And I think, well, actually, I did review some of them before when I was at Tatsu. And uh, those are amazing. <laughs> just that some of them are kind of hard to find if you missed out on getting them the first time. I just don't want to pay the premium. <laughs> but yeah, uh, definitely, it's nice that they have in uh, SH Figuarts. And I'm kind of curious if they're going to continue uh, with this. Because I would like to definitely get more. And plus, uh, figure arts is a lot easier to uh, pose with. But anyways, uh, getting to, with the review, let's go over articulation. Let's we'll start with the head here, or the neck. So it's double jointed as always uh, for figure arts. You have from the base of the neck and the base of the head over there. So uh, articulation wise, it's a little bit uh, limited because of the collar here. Uh, the collar is actually, uh, it's really stiff. But seems like it's on a hinge. Um, he can look uh, somewhat up, then yeah, really down. 
but uh, from side to side it, it, it is limited now on this uh, shoulder armor here it's on a hinge I believe actually huh interesting oh it's a bull joint on the back and this just kind of goes on in front hmm, interesting and uh, you have this shoulder armor here which kind of just I wonder if you can looks like it's on oh, okay it's just on a hinge yep but you can you, yeah you can even slide it out I guess when you move the arm up so that's nice uh, you have your bicep swivel here your double jointed elbow and you got your wrist joint here which is a, is a bolt joint so that's great now for the torso uh, you have a mid torso here I don't think you can move it as much but you get that a little bit so you can move side to side then you have your waist joint here most likely it's a bolt joint well typically they are <laughs> And uh, you got your figure arts uh, waist, which you can slide down. And uh, sliding down helps it uh, when you want to move it up. So fairly good uh, articulation there. Not so much for this, the sidekick. He has to kind of either kick back or kick front. You do have a tie swivel here, which is nice. And the knee joint. You got a separate knee armor there, which is great. And you can bend uh, back as much as this which is good uh, it's a little over probably 120 degrees which is nice and uh, you have your ankle joint here which seems to be looks like a hinge there but it is a bull joint and you, you can bend it to the side which is great so uh, this guy is quite articulate and that's yeah, it's really cool now, I was just looking around if there's a possible that they can do some attachment, you know, possibly a cape. Uh, since, yeah, sometimes on the, on the show they have a cape or actually even wings. But uh, I'm trying to remove this piece here, it won't let me. It uh, seems like this is uh, fixed, and maybe they just release another Garo with an attachment. Although, my magnet does look like as big as that. I could probably just drill through that and make some <laughs> some kind of a modification there. All right, so uh, I think that's pretty much it for articulation. Uh, let's go over the accessories. All right, so for accessories, uh, we have a variety of hands. Uh, you got the closed fist. You have your pair for holding the sword right here. And seems like you have another one, which is the angle, but you only get the right hand here. And you have your pair of hands, uh, which is the open hands right here. Or more, maybe like a style, I suppose. And you have another one, which is like this. And that's about it. It's a bit limited on the pair of hands, but typically you just need those three pairs of hands. Closed, open, and to hold the weapon. And we have the sword here. Now the sword is quite amazing and we see a lot of intricate details here. Really nice. Uh, this is nicely made. I like it. Actually they make a... Um, there was a, a white, uh, white knight Garo. I think his name is Zero. It'll be interesting uh, to see him too. I think he used kind of like two scimitars. Yeah. Yeah, I really wish they make more of the uh, figure arts for Garo. It'd be cool. Alright, so uh, let's put this on. Actually, I'm gonna go with the angled uh, hand here. So uh, let's pop this off. And let's grab this one here. Let's pop it on. There we go. Put the sword on here. quite nice and maybe I'll swap another head for the left and here we go a really cool pose and that's about it for this review I got my from Tatsu hobby as a special order it's just one of those uh, unique uh, figures that not a lot of people know about but definitely worth checking out and yeah unfortunately that's about it for this review it's kind of short um, there's not much going on 
for the accessories. It's kind of like your some of your common Rider uh, figure arts, where you only get like a weapon or so. Yeah. <laughs> but in the show, that's pretty much the main weapon he uses, the, the sword. Although he does have a bit of a little gimmick on his sword where little blades comes out, kind of like a, like a shuriken, but it's just little blades that uh, comes out of the you know blade here as well. But uh, I'm not sure if he only has that when he's on the his normal mode, uh, as opposed to his transform mode. I think uh, his blade also transforms then. But anyways, uh, it'll be cool to see if they do release a normal version of him, but that's wishful thinking. Uh, maybe this is probably one of those one-offs. But who knows? I really uh, want to see more of uh, the Garo series. Anyways, that's about it for this review. If you have any questions, let me know. So until then, this is Meads. Thanks for watching.